Op art is a style of art characterized by optical illusions. Optical illusions happen because your brain and your eyes are playing tricks on each other. They can't quite figure out what they're looking at. Optical illusions happen when your eyes and your brain are looking at a variety of lines and shapes in different sizes and proportions, as well as high contrast opposite colors like we see here with black and white. Sometimes what can occur with an optical illusion is something called optical mixing. This happens when two colors are placed next to each other and when they're in motion, your brain and your eyes mix those two colors together to create new colors. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how to make your up art spinner. Okay, so um, the first thing that we need to do is get a circle shape. Now, if you're in the classroom with us, you will have a tracer or something to trace with. If you're at home, you might not have a tracer, so what you could do is use a bowl instead. You're gonna place your bowl down onto your special oak tag paper and trace around. Then you're going to need to find the middle. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle, but um, your spinner isn't going to work very well if you have your dot up here or down here. It has to be near the middle somewhere. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect in the middle. If you have a ruler and you want to measure to find the middle, that would be fine. If you don't have a ruler, like I don't have a ruler right now, I just found the middle somewhere close to the middle and put a dot. So what I want you to do on one side of your spinner is think about color mixing, because when this spins really fast, what's going to happen is optical mixing is going to occur. That means that these colors are going to mix together in front of our eyes um, as an optical illusion to create orange, because I know that red and yellow make orange. So think about what colors you use um, to create, what you could use to create other colors. So um, on the other side, what I would like you to do is kind of play around with different kinds of lines. You could do um, curved lines like I did to kind of make like a spiral um, or you could do zigzag lines or loop de lines or whatever and just kind of play around with different kinds of lines and then coloring in the spaces. So you're going to need to do two sides, you need two designs. One design is going to be um, focused on color mixing and optical mixing and then the other side is going to be focused on different kinds of lines and seeing how um, that happens when you uh, spin your spinner. So be because I used orange and yellow for, I mean, red and yellow to make orange for this one, what I'm going to do for this one is use a different color scheme. I don't want to use this one again. So I'm thinking about what two colors I could combine or what two colors would pair nicely together that when I, so that when I spin this, it creates a new color. So I'm thinking of um, probably blue and red. Blue and red, I know, make purple. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. So what I did here was <clears throat> I created all my, my spaces. It kind of looks like a pizza or a pie, but then I marked every other space to make sure I remember which ones to color blue and which ones to color red. All right, now here's where the slightly tricky part comes in. So that dot we made in the middle, you're going to use your pencil and put your pencil down on that dot and you're going to put it down onto the table and just carefully poke a hole through that dot. This is what's going to help your spinner spin. Okay, so poke it through, wiggle it around a little bit to make it a little bit more loose so that it spins easier, easier on the pencil. Okay, I think it's spinning pretty good. All right, good. Okay, now what you're gonna do is flip it over. And do your design on the back, on the other side.
Okay, so there we go. Now you might be asking, Ms. Grindermiller, why are we using markers instead of crayons or say colored pencils? Well, because markers um, have ink in them and that ink is really, really bright and saturated and colorful. So the optical illusion happens much easier when you have colors that are saturated like a marker versus something like a crayon or a colored pencil. Now, what I'm gonna do next is show you how these will work. All right, let's see how these are gonna work. Like I said, there's no guarantee that these are gonna actually work the way that I thought they would, but I think they're still gonna look really cool. All right, so let's try this guy first. Let's see if, um, because I used blue and red, it's gonna make purple, let's see. Mm, not really. Maybe a little bit if you kind of blur your eyes a little bit, but even though it doesn't make purple, it still looks really cool, so I'm happy with it. Let's try this side. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. All right, let's try the one that I thought was gonna make orange. Now this one, I did add some orange on there to see if it would help it, help the orange come out a little bit easier, but let's see. Uh, ooh, that's cool when you spin it really fast. It does kind of blend into orange. That was really cool. Okay, so let's try this one. Ooh, I like this one a lot. This one's good. This one's good for hypnotizing. I'm gonna hypnotize you guys. All right, so there you have it. There's your op art spinner.